This is a moment with the mills. Yesterday, we began Psalm 39, and we saw that David tried to contain himself from speaking in the presence of the wicked. Today, we'll see what he did. He controlled his tongue and didn't speak, and then he did the right thing. He turned to pray to God. And so today, we begin with the prayer in Psalm 39, verse 3. Here we are. My heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burn. Then I spoke with my tongue, Lord, make me to know my end and what is the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am. Indeed, you have made my days as hand breath, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly, every man at his best state is but vapor. Selah. Surely every man walks about like a shadow. Surely they busy themselves in vain, the heaps of riches, of riches, and does not know who will gather them. Oh, for that this is a very deep lament by King David. He's praying to you a lament. This is a prayer of lament. And here, Father, he understands that although his life was long and rich with many experiences that he had, and men after your own heart, he realized, just like his son Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes, that his life was but a vapor. It was nothing. Here we are now, and here we not, in the same breath. So, Father, give us that perspective. Give us that perspective that our pride will not get on the way, but that we will be able to respond in those difficult times in prayer, that we will not be proud, that we will not take things upon our own hands, that we will not respond through our own feelings, or pray to self because self is our worst enemy. So Father, thank you for this perspective that you give us here. That Father, when we feel inadequate, here we are responding in prayer just like King David did. Teach us through this prayer. Teach us through this Psalm 39. This is a Psalm of wisdom and forgiveness. Forgive us, Father for not coming to you. Forgive us for treating you so many times like a paramedic. You are not a paramedic. You are a good father. And we want to have an intimate relationship with you. Help us, Holy Spirit, to have it intimate, just like Jesus has it with the Father. We pray for the church in America and our RTO family. In Jesus' name, through the power of the Spirit, amen. Hallelujah. Friends, you just heard Manny pray for our RTO family, and you may be wondering who that is. RTO stands for Radical Time Out, a weekly gathering where all are welcome to experience the love of Christ, regardless of their color, class, culture, crisis, or crime. We meet each Thursday evening, both in person and on Zoom at 6 p.m. Central daylight time. For more details on where we're located or how to connect on Zoom, please visit RadicalTimeOut.info.